sometimes you don't really know what happened after your performance. You kind of go into a daze. Sometimes you just remember the bad things. It's kind of nice sometimes if you don't remember because you just left everything out there. As a child, I was at the dance studio probably 12 hours a day. My mom just put me in when I was three. There was no dance in my family. There was no anything. She just kind of asked around, like, what's the best dance studio to put my girl in? Yeah, I remember the first time I saw a professional company, which was Atlanta Ballet, do Swan Lake. I that was my first performance I saw. I kind of made the decision that I wanted to be a ballerina when I was 12 or 13. That's when you have to really make that decision on your own. That's when it starts to become more competitive and you have to go to schools away from your hometown if you want to make it. When I was 15, I moved to New York and I went to school in American Ballet full time. I was 15. I don't think I missed out on anything. I think I am the luckiest person to have dance from such a young age. I didn't have anything else in my life. Dance was the only thing in my life. Maybe I would have been a cheerleader. I don't know. You have fleeting moments of confidence when you're a professional dancer. They're good ones, but then most of the time you're just beating up on yourself. Yes, we are athletes, but it's not a competition. It's art. My art form inspires me. Classical music inspires me. The people I dance with inspire me. And living in New York, that's a big one. It's like you're in a dream when you're on stage. I go into a dream world. Everything around me kind of fades away. And I'm just alone out there with my partner and with the music. It's home. It's home to me. Dancing needs to be mind, body, and spirit. It has to be everything, and that's when you see a true artist. Dance is just it's not a job, and I never say I'm going to work. I always say I'm going to the theater. Injuries have a huge part in every dancer's career. I've had two very serious back injuries, a couple of sprained ankles. After every injury, you become a different artist and you become stronger. It's really life-changing and it has to happen. It's the nature of what we do. I don't regret any of my injuries. I always came out better on the other end. I definitely don't think I'm the same person on stage and off stage. You are the artist on stage. You can become something that you're not in real life. You can be whoever you want to be. I don't think I'd want to be the same person as I am on stage. I never imagined that I would be a principal in New York City Ballet, and I really don't even know how it happened. Some people 
have those pets and they see it and they know it's going to happen. For me, I was in the back of the class. I just, I never thought I would make it here. Never. I still can't believe I'm doing the roles that I am today. I hope people remember me as someone that gave them something to take away from the theater and to share with their families. I think that's my main goal now, to inspire people and to take them to a place they've never been before with a live performance, and so they'll come back.